Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are heading into The Sims 4 with the Darlington family. Here they are as their Lego persona. And in the last Sims 4 video, we made them into Sims. So Sophie and Henry as the parents and the kids, Alex, Violet and Harry. And I promised that I was gonna make a house for them and we would start some Let's Play. So. I have been spending all this time making a house for them. And because Sophie is a vet, we have decided, well, I have decided that they're going to live in Brindleton Bay because this is where the vet is and where the cats and the dogs love to hang out. This is where the new Brindleton Paw Hospital is over here in the corner. And the Dullingtons are living right up the back here, almost in the sticks. It's gonna be nice and quiet over here. Next door is Katie's family. Now, Katie is Violet's little best friend, so we'll meet her later. And I have also dropped in the friends characters that I've actually already made, Andrea and Mia and Emma. And Andrea, I had to just put her in a different house because her apartment for, couldn't actually go in this particular landscape. And we've got a couple of really cute places we're gonna go and visit. So first up though, let's go and see what's happening at the Darlington's house. Now, the Darlington's, they needed to have a nice house. We needed them to have a little bit of money. So I gave them a bit of money and here they go. They are heading into their house. And I just love watching, oh, did, did Harry just push Violet? That is not a good start. My goodness, siblings. All right, um, we've got the triplets moving into the house in their triplety way with lots of unbalancedness. And <laughs> they're adorable. I could watch them do this all day. And their house is actually kind of decorated for Christmas because we're going to do a Christmas Let's Play very, very soon before Christmas so that they can have a Christmas day, very first Christmas in their new house. So they've made it up the stairs and Tinker's gone in and uh, Harry's gone in on it. Harry's out again. Uh, goes in, he goes out. He's just like a cat. He can't figure it out. He's going back down the stairs and Violet and Alex are just standing there looking bemused. Now let's pause this and look at the house. So let's check out the floor, pan, floor plan first and have a look at the bottom floor and then we'll look at it nice and closely. So going in through the front door, we get a nice big entryway here and a big set of stairs and a lovely big kitchen. Everything is big. They are quite wealthy. There's a dining room. The living area is very cozy. I've got a Christmas tree and a Christmas corner set up. Lots of toys over here to play with in the living area. And over this way, we've got Violet's bedroom and she's got a beautiful bedroom and the boys have got a slightly bigger space and they're sharing and back here behind the stairs is a bathroom slash laundry and there's a whole heap of potties in there and on the second level it's kind of a bit more adult because this is where Sophie and Henry's bedroom is up on the second level the bathroom's got a spa in it because that's what it had in the Lego version we built. And there is another little living area up here. There's a cat tree for Tinker. And we've got a bit of a collection of Henry stuff from his jungle adventure days and an office over there. And out the back, actually up here on the top, We've got a couple of little skylights, which I love. I love having natural light coming in. Okay, out the back though, I <laughs> tried to put as much play equipment in here as possible because if you remember their Lego backyard is absolutely packed. So we've got a swimming pool, we've got cat toys, we've got a big ball pit with a climbing jungle gym and <laughs> there's swings and there is a climbing frame here. Of course, they'll be too little to use this as toddlers, but as they grow up, they will be able to play it. And over here on the other side of the house is a greenhouse just for Henry. He's gonna love growing his plants in here. So he's gonna be able to nurture his green thumbs. So let's head inside. Look at those kids' paws there on the door. <laughs> door frame and Tinker's paws there too. So in through the front door, over here to the kitchen where we've got a few Christmas ornaments and looks like uh, Henry's already made himself at home because it is his home and he's taken a nice piece of pie. And the dining table over here looks like they were really hungry from the move. So Sophie's also having a bit of pie. Through these doors out to the back, there's actually a very fancy backyard barbecue area for entertaining. They won't be entertaining for a while because they've got tiny weeny children. And, uh, hold on, okay, look, let's see, let's spin it around. And 
when we go back in again, we can go and have a look at the living area, which is just cozy. It is very livable. It is not elegant and gorgeous. It's livable. It's got a massive TV and a fan and lots of comfy things to sit on. Over here, we've got the Christmas tree and lots and lots of toys. And then moving over here, look just inside, Tinker looks like Tinker might be um, doing something on the carpet there. We got the backpacks just inside the door, just like we had in the Lego version. And let's head into Violet's room. Actually, before we do that, I've put these little posters on the door so we know whose room belongs to whom. Okay, into Violet's room. Trying to figure out the best way to get in here so we can see everything because even the walls are decorated so i don't want to put the walls completely down she's got a gorgeous bed with butterflies and a sky image on the wall she's got her own doll's house so beautifully equipped in here and over here we have got a whole heap of tree murals murals tree murals <laughs> with a unicorn and some lights up there too and she's got a little friend she's got whiskers in here we are going to be a pet family so we're going to start off with a few and add more as we go because you remember what happened they had a lot of animals we won't get too crazy hopefully maybe maybe we will and the boys bedroom they're sharing a room there were no race tracks in the sims 4 like we did in the lego version but their their room is packed full of good stuff so many cute things in here and they have got a fish tank to look after and a giant giraffe one of my favorite things so so cute and so many toys okay what else we got we've got uh the bathroom over here with the laundry and three little potties all lined up in the row ready to toilet train the triplets that should be super duper fun sophie and henry are going to have their hands full trying to toilet train or just keep these three under control and there's actually a door out to the outside from the bathroom and the laundry so you can come straight from the pool area into the bathroom so you don't trick all your water through the house okay moving up to the second level which is very still still very tidy and elegant and adulty so into their bedroom they have got actually that looks really nice see how they've got the aquariums along the back wall well that's actually in the other room in the office when i put the wall back up that's what their wall looks like but i quite like it without the wall <laughs> and over here we've got the little comfy nook for sophie and henry to have a relax after the triplets are asleep and have a cup of tea so I'll put a tea machine in here and their tea collection and they've got their wardrobe and everything's hold on Let's just have a look. I just love the colors in here. They're just so relaxing. Got lots of wardrobes in here, lots of places to hang up. And in the bathroom, which connects to the bedroom, there is a spa because there was a spa in the Lego version we built and a shower and all the other things you need in a bathroom. Heading out here, there's this cute little walkthrough. And this is very fancy. This is, well, actually, I haven't put very much in here at the moment, but we've got a whole heap of exotic fish here that Henry has collected on his travels. And he has also got a whole heap of his artifacts that he's also collected. In fact, when the triplets are a bit older, we might head them back out into the jungle for some adventures. Wouldn't that be cool? Let me know in the comments if you think they should go out on a jungle adventure, because that's Henry's job. He's working in the jungle. And over here is a living area, and there's a couple of interesting things out on the verandas. There's an archaeological table, and there's a painting easel, and there's chess set, and there's all sorts of stuff kind of just randomly dotted outside, which we're going to use as we go along in the Let's Play. <gasps> all right, so let's just check this out. So we might let the, uh, the triplets in again. We'll unpause it. And we're actually going to jump to winter because we are getting ready for Christmas, the first Christmas in the Darlington's house. And look, it's snowing. Oh, I need to put some more decorations up on the outside of the house. But oh, it looks just so Christmassy and festive. And the Darlingtons have all got their own special Christmas outfits. Sophie is looking very, very cute there in her stripy stockings. Where is she going? And her little reindeer, uh, reindeer top. Oh, Tinker's got an obsession. 
Oops, all right, okay. I don't know quite what the obsession is. I suppose we'll find out. She's building a snowman. Oh, and Violet is very slowly coming down these stairs to come and help. They're going to have some bonding time. And Violet is in a Christmas tree costume. And why? Because she can, because it's Christmas. And she looks adorable. And you're going to be horrified when you discover that I've actually put the boys in Christmas tree outfits too, just for Christmas. <laughs> So, so cute. Oh, she's out here building. She's thinking about building with the building blocks. So, yes, this is like the building blocks, Violet. It's the same sort of idea. Now, who is this here? This is Harry. Harry, I can tell because he's the one with the yellow star on the top of his Christmas tree. And he's the one who can be a little bit wild and a little bit naughty. And he's toddling through the kitchen. Oh, oh, here comes Tinker. Oh, he's helped himself to a piece of pie. And Tinker is, well, right up on the table. Just going straight over those candles there. Right, okay. And where did your pie go? Did Harry just dump his pie as he went round the back? <laughs> I think that Henry's trying to get his attention. And look at Alex. Alex has got the little pink star on the top of his Christmas tree outfit. And he's just chilling here on the blue chair. Having a chat with Henry. Harry's heading up too. All right. Oh, here's your pie. He stashed it in his Christmas tree outfit. <laughs> Aren't they just the most cute things ever? Oh, and it uh, looks like Sophie is putting Violet in for a snack too. No pie for Violet. Violet gets some uh, multicolored cereal. Looks like Fruit Loops. Looks like something full of sugar. Perfect for Christmas. Though Violet doesn't look overly happy. Where are we going over here? Henry looks like he's trying to placate Alex. Maybe Alex would like a piece of pie too. So maybe Henry's going to get him a piece of pie. Oh, Harry is just busy smashing that pie down and getting crumbs everywhere. It's a sparkly pie though. And Violet, oh no, okay. So Henry uh -huh. is going to let Violet oh, out of her high chair. And then Violet can toddle off and get up to any sort of mischief. Let's see what these boys are doing. Oh, Harry's gone. Where's Harry? I don't know where Harry's gone, but our Christmas tree desperately needs decoration. So we're going to put Sophie and Henry on that. Lots of... Where are the baubles going? They're kind of putting them on and they disappear into the Christmas... Oh, they're throwing them on! That... <laughs> okay. Okay, they're totally disappearing into that tree. Are they finished yet? There's no baubles on it. I'm just seeing if we look from different angles whether the baubles turn up, but no. Oh, here they are. Well, that was magical. That was just magical. Oh, why does... Oh, she goes, oh, I don't like where we put those. Maybe we shouldn't have thrown them on the tree and then it would have looked better. Oh, nope, hold on. She's throwing some more on. She says, if we throw some more on, it'll totally look better. Yes, I like your <laughs> like your idea, Sophie. Now, I dread to think what the triplets have been getting up to while the adults have been otherwise occupied decorating the tree and tossing baubles randomly at it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, the Christmas star is on. Oh, but the tree's still not finished yet. And oh, Violet's put herself to bed. While her mum and dad were busy decorating the Christmas tree, she's so keen for Christmas. Hold on. What happened over here? It looks like there's been some triplet rage. Was it Harry? No, Harry's asleep. Oh, actually, yeah, Harry's Harry's asleep in the teddy bear. Right? Oh, no, hold on. No, is he awake? I don't want to know. Oh, and Alex is just back sitting in that blue chair. He loves that blue chair. It couldn't possibly have been Alex who destroyed the doll's house. That's not the sort of thing that Alex would do. Alex is toddling over here. <laughs> Oh, I know. But uh, what, are you, what are you doing? Alex looks a little bit sad. Oh, here come his mum and dad. They're going to come over and cheer him up. Oh, hold on. Here's trouble. Harry is awake and toddling into the scene. Let's see what happens now. Oh, that's perfect. Alex could do with a cuddle. That might cheer him up too, if she can get around Henry because he was just standing in the way there. Oh, okay, so not just a cuddle. It's time to give Alex something to eat because Alex never ended up getting any pie, you guys. He missed out. Violet's had Fruit Loops, but now he gets some... I do not know what this is. I don't know. 
<laughs> Sophie's laughing. She thinks it's hilarious. Yeah, let's give this kid flavorless wheat bix while his brother and sister. Oh, I gave him flavorless wheat bix. Oh, but he's eating it. So I'm going to stand over here and just watch. He still looks so sad. I think he would have liked some apple pie. Oh, well, Henry is playing some marvelous games with Violet. Oh, but Violet's sad. No, 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 cheer her up. She is energized and happy, but she's not going to be happy when she sees the state of her doll's house. So let's get Henry to fix that. Come on, Henry. Come on, Henry. Here he comes. Oh, Sophie's come too. Yeah, Meeple Loofla. Yeah, I think she would love to meeple new flower. So Sophie and Violet are going to sit down and they're going to play flashcards because there is nothing more fun than playing flashcards while your dad repairs your doll's house. So what's this one? Blanche. Mm -hmm. She's not sure. <laughs> oh, she is sure. Oh, no. Oh, Alex fell asleep in the high chair. I feel as though Alex is going to be the neglected child because he's so quiet and nobody notices him because he's being so good. <laughs> I don't know that I want to wake him up. He probably needs a sleep, but I can't imagine it's very comfy in there. Oh, here he comes. Big stretch. Oh, Alex. Oh, no. Oh, Alex. Someone give him a cuddle. Come on, Henry, give him a cuddle. Poor Alex, they forgot him in the high chair. I think Sophie and Henry are going to really struggle having triplets. I wonder if we should make some grandparents to come in and help out. Oh, okay, it's time for Alex to do a bit uh -huh. of toilet training. This will be fun, this will cheer him up. Because toilet training uh -huh. cheers everybody up. Okay, come on, Alex. Do your business in the potty. It's fun. It's really fun. Yeah, and I'll give you some fruit loops. You won't have to eat that tasteless wheat fix anymore. Uh-oh. Here comes Harry. Harry's toddling into vision. Oh, no, he's out of vision. Let's go and see what he's doing. Oh, good. Harry's playing in the toilet, and Violet is here too. Oh, and Tinker's going to the toilet as well. It is toilet time for everybody. Harry's having a bit of a sing. Going, what you doing, Alex? Oh, well uh, done, uh, Alex. Sleep, yeah, good work. You are well on the way to being toilet trained, little dude. Whereas Harry just basically likes to play in the toilet. So I don't know how we'll go about toilet training him. Sophie and Violet are playing dolls in the newly fixed doll's house. Tinker's in here too. Oh, here he comes, Alex. Oh, he stepped on Tinker, so Tinker got out of the way. And, oh, he's climbing into Violet's bed. He's trying to shoo Tinker off because he looks so sad and so tired. Come on, Tinker, off you hop. Alex is going to sleep. Oh, you poor little fella. He is plum tuckered out from the big move-in today. Actually, I don't know how many hours they've been awake. And over here, Harry is playing with Henry. Keep an eye on this little boy, though. It might be all right with some adult supervision. Henry looks like he's having more fun than Harry is. <laughs> Whoa, he's brought in the helicopter. And the helicopter zoomed in and barely missed the doll. Oh, Harry's out of here. Right, he's off to cause mischief somewhere else. And Henry is going to continue playing dolls. Oh, no, he's not. He just realized that the children left and he felt a bit silly. So off he goes to... What's he doing? Are you opening a present early? He did too. Oh, and it was obviously a rubbish present. What is it? It was a wolf eel? <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, obviously not happy about this. What can we do with this wolf eel? I wonder we can mount it and put it on the wall. I wonder if we can put it in the fish tank in the boys' room. That would be cool. I've never had a wolf eel in a fish tank before. Let's stock the fish tank here with the wolf. Oh, I can't even say it. Wolf eel. Oh, that is just a little bit of a creepy fish. And it's quite true. Who would give people a wolf eel as a present. That's a bit dodgy. All right, now we have got the house a bit more set up, ready for Christmas, because in the next video, we are going to, oh, they're out here playing in the snow. We are going to join the Darlingtons for their special Christmas day. We might even go out for some Christmas marketplace fun as well. So let me know in the comments if you would like. Oh. <laughs> okay, Henry was doing snow angels. 
and the kids are having a marvellous time. So would you like to see a Darlington Christmas Day? I'd like to find out what happens on Christmas Day there. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you check out some of my other videos, let me know if you would like to see Christmas Day special, and I will see you then. Bye!